Welcome back to Mystic Nine Gang. I want to thank you guys for joining me, for liking, sharing, subscribing. All that you do is greatly appreciated. It never goes unnoticed. I want to say all praise is due to the Most High. I share to the ancestors of light, known, and unknown. I want to thank them for clear, concise, accurate information. I also want to call in the Archangel, specifically Archangel Michael, and ask that he protect me as well as my collective from any outside and negative influences seeking to impact this read in a negative form or fashion. I've been in the business of mixing cards lately, being guided to do so anyway. Um, planning, implementing, building, targeting. So I was at the end of the other reading and that's crazy, it says key. I was just shuffling these to mix these in together, but I guess the divine is like, you know, everything is divine. It says key. Key people, core to the problem. I think this is meant to say past, but it says past. There's some key people that are planning and plotting and trying to implement some type of strategy to something. Someone could be learning some knowledge or have learned some knowledge. This could be about self or maybe somebody learned some knowledge about you. I'm not too sure. So this is the two cards that came out that I'm about to put back. It says victim and architect. Yeah, these people are, um, I'm not gonna use these yet. I'm gonna start off with the two row. They're working. We have crown, owner, master, top level because of something that you own or you have ownership over. We have unfinished business. About something you own. I hope that ain't nobody who think they own you. Or think they your master. I damn sure hope. Unfinished business. Ain't no unfinished business around here. Everything is finished at this point in 2024. There, there'll, there'll be none of that unfinished business stuff around these parts. Is this this deck? Yeah, that's that deck. All right. I'm trying to I'm trying to organize because I have so many decks. So I'm just trying to give myself some space. Okay. They want me to get a message out of the angels of abundance. Angels of abundance deck. I'm hearing that they're trying so hard for nothing. For nothing. That's literally what I'm hearing. They can't block this, they can't stop this. They have to give you what's yours, and they know they have. Some people coming in to apologize, to say sorry. We have asked for your needs to be met. It says, God and the angels can come to your aid only if you make a free will choice to be helped. And it begins with asking. It doesn't matter how you ask God for help, but only that you do so. The same holds true with clearly asking other people to assist you. Yeah, like if I need help carrying a bag up the steps, 333. Now, don't get me wrong. There'll be people, that's that's how loving angels are. That, yes, some things we don't ask them and they just help us with. But for the most part, they don't want to always go interfering. And they figure if you need help, you ask. So if you see somebody on the step you and you're struggling, you, you may want to put your pride to the side and ask this person for help. Now, with the angels, it's simple. Angels, archangels, like when I say my opening, I say, Archangel, I ask that you come in and protect me as well as the collective. From any outside of negative influences seeking to impact this reading, negative form or fashion, I'm asking. Archangels, angels, I ask that you come in and I ask that you, you fortify, strengthen, and renew my collective. I ask that you go throughout each and every one of their homes, fulfilling it with peace and removing negative energy. We have to ask, make a request for your needs to be met. Underneath it, it says donation, tithing, and charitable work. Make sure that you are donating when you can, that you are tithing when you can, and you are being chari or doing some type of charitable work with the clutter that's making me think about give things away to people that you don't need. Don't be a hoarder. Give things away. Help. I really don't want to tell this story. Here they go trying to make me tell this story. I don't want to tell the story because I know that the girl is probably... 
on my channel now and it's like if you do i'm only telling because my angels if you are here and you do hear this i'm only telling this story because my angels want me to so yesterday i'm on the train Actually, I was standing waiting for the train and God said walk down further to catch the train So when you get off the boarding part, you don't have to walk so far I'm like, okay, as if you care about me walking all of a sudden You know, that's how me and God play. That's the relationship me and God got So I did as God said and I got on a specific train And there was a woman on there and her three children and I had just got done getting my hair done. I spent about 200 easy. And I really could not understand what this, I did not hear what she was saying. I more so felt the distress. I'm about to get emotional. I felt the distress in her voice while talking to her son as if she was trying to reassure him of some type of plan or that something was going to work out for him. So as I was about to get off, God said, I want you to go over there and take this person's number. I was actually going to post it last night and ask if anybody can help this family. I was going to post the calm, the messages so y'all knew that it was real. I'm like, if anybody can help this woman, whatever you could do, five, ten dollars, please help this woman and her children. Somebody named Crystal Nicole popped up. That may be relevant. Either way, so I walked up to her, and I'm a very shy person. I don't really like to communicate with people. But I, I'm obedient to God. I do what God say. So I walked up to her, and I said, Miss, I'm about to get off. I said, God wants me to take your number. I said, I don't know what exactly he wants me to do yet. But I just, hurry up and give me your number. My, my stop was the next stop. So I took her number, and as I'm leaving, I'm hearing, um, send, send her money i won't say how much i sent her but i just want to say thank you to everybody who donates to me because you make it possible for me to donate to those in need so i did what i was told and i sent her the money and she says oh my god thank you so much i was on my last 25 dollars for me and the kids to eat tonight so I'm saying that to be I'm saying that to say when I see acts for your needs to be met, this is for anybody out there. Ask your angels. That woman probably was praying. She probably was like, God, I I, I, I took this step, I moved. From 10 hours away, I won't say where she came from, but I know it's approximately like 10, 11 hours to where I am. She moved. She stepped out on faith, and I know she's like, God, God. But then he said me, so I'm not even going to get too emotional because then he said me. He said, I got the best of the best. She going to look out for you. I just know that's what he said. I know that's what he said. I know that's what he said. So I also sent the message. I said, I'm going to pack up some stuff. I have two boys. Pack up some stuff. Do what I can. I'm saying that to say, continue to ask for help. Don't doubt that God ain't sending these people in your path. I'm getting emotional because 9-11... It's an emergency out here, for real, for real. People are struggling. They're fight, damn near fighting for their lives. They're on their last, fuck last leg. They on their last toe. They don't know what to do. And I'm here saying to you, like I told her, all it takes is a little bit of faith, just a mustard seed. That's it. Ask the angels to help, family. Donation, tithing, and charitable work. This is how I know they wanted me to tell them this story. This is how I know. This is the angels telling me that they were telling me to donate to this person. To give to this person. Declutter. And then it says cooperation instead of competition.
They get me so emotional. It's always when the angels come in. They get me so emotional. The ancestors be having me on one. They get me in that war ready energy. I love both energies. I just don't want to be on here crying in front of y'all. You know what I mean? It, it makes you tense because you're trying to fight it. I'm also picking up the energy of here is you're in your own lane. You're in the lane of your own family. There's no need to compete with anyone. There's no need to fear. Give of yourself. That's what you're here. Give of yourself. Don't fear your loss. You know, I'm thinking about uh, uh, one of my guy friends. He's a doctor. He works over at the, um, the, the Med Express, the clinic. And he says, when you're giving to someone, understand that. Find the gratitude. And we have gratitude next. Find the gratitude in being able to give it. In the fact that you had it in your pocket in the first place. I'm also getting a message to tell you that when you were doing your purpose, there is no competition. There should be no competition. Just stay in your lane. <laughs> Let me read donations, tithes, and charitable work. It says, give joyfully to the organizations and people who spiritually support and inspire you and know that your generosity will be returned to you manifold in miraculous ways. The time, supplies, money, or other resources you donate will ensure that your positive energy multiplies. Now let's not do it for what we may receive, but for what we may change in the heart of other people. Twelve, twelve. I'm thinking about um, a story. It's not even a story. It was like a skit. Not a skit. It was an actual clip where a guy was... He had an old friend who ended up homeless and he was on the streets and he pulled up on the side. I'm told him, he told him to get a car. He gave him like a stack of money and the guy just kept looking. He said, for me, for me, for me. And it wasn't, it wasn't the money that really made me emotional family. It wasn't even the giving that made me emotional. It was the possibility that there was some part of him that was losing hope. And this man had restored. I want y'all to focus on gratitude. Make a list of things that you're grateful for. It says count, counting your blessings and feeling gratitude for what you already have helps you to be centered in your heart instead of fixated on worries in your mind. What and who are you grateful for right now? I am grateful for it. Please take a time and write it in the comments. I'm grateful for the angels. For the divine, for the universe, for the collective, 1333. I am truly grateful for you guys. Um, we have release jealousy. Jealousy is an affirmation that you don't have something, and the universe manifests exactly as you affirm. Let other people's successes inspire rather than frustrate you. If they can have it, so can you. And this is what people need to see. But I'm also seeing give to people. Give to people. Be grateful for what you already have. Cooperate instead of compete. Donate instead of take. Ask if anyone needs help. Instead of always can they help you. Last thing, I have moonlighting. Oh, no, that's not even the last thing. Moonlighting says you can start working on your dream career part time while keeping your other job to pay the bills. Soon your dream career will take flight and fully support you underneath donations, tithing and charitable work. Maybe your purpose, your dream job has something to do with some type of charitable work. Tithing is not always putting money in a pot at church. Tithing is putting money in the pocket of the homeless. You have to pay yourself first as the last one. 
It says, make yourself your most important financial obligation by setting aside a portion of your income every time you are paid. This loving form of self-care ensures that you will have savings to invest in your present and your future. So they're saying that when you get paid, it's making me think of the church passages about, um, well, they say you get, you put the money in the tithe. Then, no, this is telling you to take a portion of money for yourself and then do charitable work. Do what you can to help people, your career. If it helps people, do what you can. We have focus on your priorities, dreams of abundance, attracting, not chasing. This is... There, that could be an energy of people trying to um, instill doubt or fear within you or a thought of you losing something that you've acquired. No, that's not going to happen 1555. Continue to ask your angels. Tithe. Be charitable. Declutter. Give things away. Don't compete with people. Don't be jealous. And you'll always always be taken care of be a being of service be a being of service let us get one more message be a being of service oh jesus it says have courage to ask for and accept help have the courage to ask people for help have the courage to accept help it says asking for help is a sign of strength as is accepting it, as it is offered to you. Very often when you ask God for help, prayers are answered through other people. Be sure to accept this assistance as well as give it to others as you are guided. I told y'all, I was guided to give that person help, and I did. And I just want to share this message with y'all because give of yourself. Don't doubt it. If you feel something, I don't care if you're looking at your bank account and you're like, of course, have something for yourself. But if you got something for yourself and you have just a little bit to spare, you don't doubt you give it. Even I'm, I'm, I'm a, I give my last type person to people too because I know that it ain't never my last. I know that that empty pocket can go from empty to $100 quickly with God. I gotta go. Like the angels overwhelm me so much with abundance, love, gratitude, a perception of freedom and bliss. It overwhelms me, but I'm grateful for them. Make sure you help when you're guided to help, family. Don't worry about the loss, because there is no loss. God is telling you to help that person. That person most likely prayed. And God, because you're an earth angel, God is sending you. Don't let them down. I got to go, y'all. It says quiet retreat under that. Clearing debts. You're helping people to clear karmic debts, and you're clearing debts. You're helping people clear debts. I got to go. I got to go. I'll be back because I got a reading that is about your family, about these people planning and, and blotting and dying and dropping. With that being said, collected, I want to thank y'all for joining me, like, and sharing, subscribing. It's always greatly appreciated. It never goes unnoticed. Peace, namaste, mad love.